had an open air museum named Hajil Haider. I don't have any idea how to pronounce that. It's a museum which tells the story about life and living conditions for the Danish rural population. In a sense, it is a story of all the Danes. Before the great migration from rural to urban areas gained pace 100 years ago, more than 80% of the Danish population lived in the countryside. Here, we would like to invite our guests to journey back in time with us to our colourful, wonderful, and sometimes disturbing, but always amusing, but always common past. No, sometimes amusing, sorry. I bid you a warm welcome. Okay, that's... This, this barn is called Bulladen. Derives from something, something. It was built in 1777 and exemplifies a special type of house called a bull house. In a bull house, the walls are made of large oak planks rather than the usual bricks or wattle and daub. In the middle 1500s, King Christian III of Denmark prohibited the pe peasants in northern Jutland from building this type of house because it used too much timber. The king preferred to use the timber to expand the navy. However, in southern Jutland, the practice continued until the turn of the century. Go in this one. Um, it was built in Als, East Himmerland, Himmerland, in 1632. It belonged to the village Vicarage, which was owned by the vicar. The names of both Christian and his wife and Christian Data have been carved into the beam above the door. Well, this is the oldest preserved farmhouse in Jutland. The, the, the wood was used, um, was logged in 1545, and the way it looks now is um, as it would have looked in 1640. Right, this, um, this is the smithy, could be dated back to 1673, but, apparent, but the house as it looks today um, was after a renovation in the late 1800s. Um, and this is the smithy workshop. That's where they have Wi-Fi right there. Mm. Mm. Huh. This is a working water mill, a combination of two mills. It's got two mills and three grinders and they're still in, in working order and still working. The first, um, this was about 1870. This looks like the inside of a Dutch windmill, but of course this one's powered by water. She's not having it. You don't like that, do you? She should pay you more. Um, here we have a Stone Age settlement, which was um, reconstructed based on traces of buildings left, the period being um, 4,000 to 1700 BC. Um, they used to hunt and gather and collect wild berries and herbs, but in those times, in the life of the Stone Age people, the cultivation of grain and the ut utilisation of livestock now became a fundamental part of their lives. Hi. 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 Hi.
God, but I didn't have that in the Stone Age, did they? <laughs> they did not have a thermos in the Stone Age. <laughs> 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 Alright, well, we've got to have a little bit of water. But we were stressed today because we couldn't get yeah. in. Oh! So. Oh! Mm. They locked it, they locked around. Yeah. Yes. They changed uh, the, 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 the lock. Key. Yes, okay. Yeah, oh, yes, yes. Okay, it's all good yes. now. Yeah. Yeah. Now. Yeah. Yeah. So we need a cup of coffee. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Out of there, you're saying. Out of there. Get out of there. <laughs> so she's happy because she's waiting until? No, I don't think so. You go and touch the nose, see if it's cold, that means they're healthy. Huh. What am I looking at here? Hello there. You're looking for something to eat, aren't you? Hello. Girls are in danger. Oh. 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 Well, this is the inn. So if you want to take a sleep, you can, this is a, this is what they call a twin room. Airbnb. It ba da this ba dates back to the f mid 1500s. Since then, it's been rebuilt f several times, and um, that's about all I've got to say. Yeah, this is where we're just going to have dinner, over here. Oh yeah. I won't touch anything, it's all aligned. It's aligned? Yep. How do you know that? It says, but in here, this is, I think, like a, you know, this is probably the most comfy bed. Oh yeah. All cosy. Oh, that'd be nice in the winter time, I'll snug it up. And then the baby can sleep in there. Yeah. Well, we're having a baby, what are you telling me? <laughs> This is the Costed farm which was originally situ situated in the village of Costed. In 1813 it was moved to a field. The house was literally moved and the building was reassembled and all recyclable materials were used to re uh, rebuild the farm in a new location. It's, it's typical of the heath and this area with slender timber frame construction. Okay, this church was built by museum employees in the 1950s as an example of a typical countryside church from the 12th century. Most Danish churches were built during this century. However, virtually none of them look the same today. Pages of rope, starting from the fibre, which can come from hemp, or from coconut, or from other kinds of plants that are fibrous, and then the strands are wound and then rewound and then rewound until, the, until you get some strong, strong rope. Right. Till they're all wound up. <laughs>
Hi, I'm from New York. Where are you from? Your local cow? Yeah. Would you like to be on Facebook? Okay, say Rolled something cool. No, the sheep just rolled his eyes. Yeah, he's not really interested. No. How about YouTube? Instagram? He might not be feeling well. No.